I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 2nd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. So February 2nd is Groundhog Day, but it was kind of an interesting week in the markets. We did not see anything repeated. The narratives changed throughout the week, starting with uh, one story around the Federal Reserve earlier this week, changing kind of dramatically with the release of the January employment report this morning. Let's bring uh, the viewers up to date. What did you see? Sure. Um, So as you mentioned, the market was definitely pretty focused on the economic data and the Fed meeting that took place on Wednesday. Um, The Fed held rate steady for the fourth consecutive meeting. And I think the biggest headline coming out of that meeting was Powell seemed to share somewhat of a, you know, wait and see policy approach moving forward as they continue to monitor, you know, the inflation and economic growth. And then this morning on the topic of economic growth, we saw the market digest a stronger than expected non-farm payroll number. Um, which came in at 353,000 versus the estimate of 185,000. And last month's original report of 164,000 was revised up to 278,000. And those reports of economic strength really uh, spooked the market a little bit today, didn't they? Yeah, it seems that the market took, you know, kind of the stronger than expected jobs and the commentary from the Fed earlier in the week, you know, as a sign that perhaps the rate cuts from the Fed aren't going to happen, you know, as soon as originally thought. So we saw treasuries sell off across the curve this morning on the back of those numbers with um, the 10 year at about a 403 and the 30 year at about a 423 at the time of this video on Friday morning. So reaching back a little bit earlier in the week, we also saw uh, cash flow uh, information from mutual funds. What did that look like? Sure. Um, So we saw the fourth consecutive week of muni inflows, and it actually was the strongest week in over a year. So that's dating back to January 18th of 2023. Um, So that's some positive news there for the muni market. Um, We also saw, you know, lighter bid wanted activity continue. And as of this morning, you know, prior to the moves post um, non-farm, munis were anywhere from about 17 to 19 basis points tighter on the week. And of course, last year, as as we take a look at that chart, the the cash flows were not sustained much past January. It turned into to generally outflows for most of the year last year. So we'll see what happens this year uh, if uh, if that gains can be uh, can be sustained. And the market's obviously in a different place. Uh, in the new issue market, we saw a lot of issuers kind of uh, putting pause on their plans, not wanting to uh, to compete with volatility around the Fed meeting. But there were some transactions of note. What did you see? Yep. So the uh, total supply for this week came in at around five and a half billion. Um, BAM had some nice activity. We priced around 135 million across 14 series in eight states. And just kind of a couple of deals to highlight here were the 28 million city of West Haven, Connecticut, which was priced by Raymond James, and then the 20 million Granite City Schools in Madison County, Illinois, which was priced by Stiefel. And the Snake River uh, Improvement District transaction we talked about last week, and there's a BAM Credit Insights video also priced uh, 17 million from Piper Sandler out in uh, Colorado, in uh, Wyoming. Excuse me, uh, a little bit uh, unusual to see transactions from that state, so that was good to see uh, get placed. Looking ahead to next week, uh, the calendar does pick up a little bit. What do you expect to happen? Yep, as of right now, um, you know, still building, but it looks to be about eight and a half billion. Um, and a couple of deals that we'll be watching here at BAM are the 62 million city of Grand Junction, Colorado, which will be priced by D.A. Davidson, and then a 42 million university area joint authority of Center County, Pennsylvania, which is a sewer revenue bond deal. And that's going to carry the BAM Green Star designation. Uh, it's uh, 100% uh, sustainable water and, inf- and wastewater uh, mate, uh Wave solar uh, infrastructure investments, and so it qualifies as a green bond under the green bond principles. Well, thanks for your time this week, Morgan. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a great weekend.